Hello everyone. Hello. So I'm just going to try to do a little adjustment here. I can't tell. Tell me if I look I e even when it goes on. It's live now. I'm live. Looking good. Looking good. Make sure the volume's down. Oh, okay. I'm still bouncing a little here, so. Share with friends. All right. Let's see if we can get some folks to come in. And did it show me live on? Mm-hmm. Wow. It's not showing me live here. So how's everyone doing this evening? Doing good, doing good, doing good. There we good. go. Awesome. Say hello to some folks as they're coming in, okay? Hello. I am. I'm working on it. I see Jean. Kristen, Jackie. Hi, Jean from North Dakota. <laughs> woo woo. Woo woo. Uh, Angie, Hello, there's another Kristen. There's Bill. Hi, Karen. There's another Jean. Hi, Beverly. Hello, so, Arlen. <laughs> I don't see Nicola. You see yeah, her? She's watching. Okay. Hi, Nicola. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Um,. For those of you who are already friends with me on Facebook, did you see what my husband said about me today? She's in France tonight. Who's in France? Um, with my feet up. Oh, Nicola. She's oh. got feet up. Talking <laughs> to France. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? She's in France? <laughs> so, come on in. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Barb. Oh, two Nancys, Nancy Pick and Nancy Franzenberg. So, hi Sherry. Welcome, welcome. Hi well, Angie. We'll just call the one feisty. So, is Franklin there? Hi Franklin. Hi Franklin. <laughs> hi Colton. Nancy Pick says so, hi. I see that. So Hello we're gonna from Canada, Sally Oxford. All right. Yes. Happy. No Scooby Snacks? They're there. The, yeah, we've it's got. something different tonight. We've got mini peanut butter sandwiches, and if he behaves, he can have them, right? That's right. It says four kids. <laughs> they're, they're four kids. I'm a big kid. Ah, uh, you are a big kid. You want your Scooby Snacks Not now. now. i got to earn them. you got to earn them. What do you got to do? Talk about the host code. Yeah. So what thing. about the host code? Hundred and forty nine ninety nine or less. <laughs> if you make a purchase from my store, one hundred and forty nine nine or less, you're funny. <laughs> okay. No, I, what, there's more. There's more. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna start off with my. I have a beautiful downline that just joined us, so she doesn't have all the Stampin' Up goodies, but she did send me this really cute card today, and I just wanted to share it with you super cute it also came with she sewed me a um an oven towel well yeah it it hooks onto the oven it's really cute i should have brought that too on it. patriotic so yep. for all of the american folks that are going to be that's joining right. us tonight oh, happy canada day that's right happy canada day yes so um let's get going shall we sure Okay, well, let's go. We had. <laughs> well, I don't know. You said you had all these announcements, so share oh, my video. Is that it? Share my video to your wall, and then you can get. Uh, you gotta get. You gotta share to win. To get into the drawing, so listen to him. Mm -hmm. Where's the paper? Here we go. Here's the paperwork. So, kickoff has begun. Bonus days are here. So, if you don't remember bonus days from last year. Um, for every $50 that you spend, Stampin' Up! is going to send you a $5 coupon to spend Ooh, in August. For August? Yes. So, I really absolutely love that. Pay now, um, play later. <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy tonight. He's got a big grin on his face. It was a long day, wasn't it? Was it was a long day, <laughs> Walls are getting closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We don't get to go out a whole big bunch with me having an autoimmune disorder. And so, stuck at home with me all the time. Oh, Izzy's got two dog beds and now they've both migrated by his office. I brought one back. <laughs> 
I think he's trying to take the dog from me. But anyway, bonus days. So how this works is you have to have a valid uh, email address. That's the only way that Stampin' Up! does it. They'll email you the codes. For every $50 you spend in July, you earn $5. And I don't want to tell you how much I spent this morning. So you, I just I just say that I'll have a multiple of, um, yeah. of uh, $5 coupons that I can spend next month, right? But <laughs> bonus days. That's what this is. I know. That's why. Yeah. So see, yeah, it's a money saver in the long run, right? That's right. Because we all need this stuff as stampers. That's right. yeah. So you do need to have a valid... Did you um, order the whiskey set? I didn't. What? I did. He wants me to order the whiskey set. I will get it. I'll get it. Oh. I don't even remember what page that's on so that they can see. So. I don't worry about it. Well, it's right here. See? The whiskey set. This kind of manly, straight up, you're the best. I will be getting this because he really, really wants me to. So, but then that means you're going to have to make some cards. Okay. Can I finish my, my spiel on bonus days? Mm -hmm. So, you want to make sure that once you get that email, you either print it out, you click star to save it, whatever you have to do, because they will not send a replacement email with those codes again. So, I just wanted to make sure that if you spend $50 with me, that you get... Um, some place where you put that code so you have it for August. Boy, that was a long announcement. It was. Let's move on. Summer nights, it's here. You've got until the 10th to get this kit. I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, it's got some, it says like postcards with um, envelopes and then some die cut bags that you can use for uh, your summer nights, but it has an add-on. So for $10 with part number 154973, again, 154973, you can get 24 card bases and 24 envelopes. And look at the envelopes are lined and the card bases mm -hmm. already have kind of like a starry sky. So I ordered two today. Just Yay! saying. I know. Okay. Well, maybe I'm going to do a giveaway with one of them. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got until July 10th to get in on the July kit. Um, obviously, I'd like you to choose me as your demonstrator, but this is a wonderful, wonderful kit. Now, on top of your $50 five dollar off coupon you still earn fabulous piccadilly perks and how that works is for every 35 dollars that you spend with me uh, or more i um award you a letter to the name piccadilly there's 10 letters in the name piccadilly so it's kind of a like a punch card buy 10 get one free so i give you a 25 dollar shopping spree on me of whatever you want in current catalog products and I pay the shipping and the handling and the tax on that. So it's about a $35 value. So awesome. Even with the bonus days, you get that. Oh, wow. And then I know the promotion is done. I did get some wonderful recruits to sign up. But if you are interested in joining a fun, creative team, in fact, we've got a team meeting coming up for any of my team members who are on right now watching. Um, it's the second Monday of the month at 6.30 p.m. So um, we're going to do it the traditional old way Facebook style this time because I've got uh, some new folks and I've got a lot of things to go over. So, but we've got a great team and we would love to have you. You don't have to recruit anyone. You don't have to do Facebook Lives like I'm doing. You don't have to sell to anyone. You can just be a discount shopper. However the opportunities there if you do want to do those things. So this catalog is amazing and I have sitting over here a bunch of shelving that my husband built for me that can hold two of my project boxes at once and it is literally jam packed. <clears throat> I'm going to double high. I do have them double high, don't I? Um, I've got projects that I'm going to probably sit down tomorrow and Friday and just tape 
uh, do all the taping at one time. Yeah. So I'm going to have some more short quickadillies coming out for you guys. Now here, Bill, get that off my camera. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but this book is so amazing. And I had projects picked out that um, were maybe more of like uh, autumn and fall colors. And I decided to take those projects and flip it around. So we're going to do brights tonight. And I've got a couple of team members who love brights. So... Why don't you hand me the first project box and we'll get going. Does anybody like a little magenta madness? I do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hot pink is always so much fun. So I'm bringing back a stamp set. It um, carried over from our last catalog. This is under my umbrella. But this thing is so cute and there are so many ways that you can do fun things. Now, I'm going to have um, both of my... Uh, cards tonight are going to have bright colors like this and Daffodil Delight, Ma um, Ma Magenta Madness, Granny Apple Green, and this one is uh, Pool Party, Dark Pool Party, um, are going to be kind of the color combination. I have chosen for the sentiment, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. But here's the fun part. Ready? Ready, Freddy? And this does yeah. come with a matching punch, and we're going to be using that. It'll punch Ooh, out. But cool. wait till you see this, Bill. This Ooh, is our glitter. rainbow glimmer paper. Ooh. Isn't that so pretty, That's right? Shiny. So this is going to be what I'm starring on this show. And what I'm going to do, well, for this card, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm going to just cut out like that. Cool. Cool the top of my um, umbrella. umbrella yep <clears throat> and if you noticed I did it this is the magenta madness and this is the daffodil delight and I wonder where I got my inspiration for the color pattern hmm? Hmm, don't know <laughs> kind of got that rainbow look so under my umbrella under my umbrella. And we'll just put this aside and let's go. We've got that. Let's get the project box out. Is that the box? Pro project, yeah. Okay. Papers here. So I have a piece of of cardstock. This is a half sheet of eight and a half by eleven. This is Coastal Cabana. And I cut it in half and now I'm gonna fold it in half so that my card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. Any questions or anything? No. Do they, they love the colors? Did they like the that sale Paper offer? Right. Last year I had a lot of people really take. Um, yes, the paper is bright. This it's going to get brighter. <laughs> so, with our um, rectangles, we have the um, stitched rectangles. It has just that little stitching embellishment. So that's where I'm going to start right now. We're going to do some talking because I'm going to do some blending. Ooh, blending. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends. Actually, I'm not really going to be doing a whole lot of blending. I'm going to be doing some coloring. But this stamp set has this cute little pair of wellies or galoshes or I'm not sure. Other people call them different things. But I'm going to stamp those kind of down at the bottom there. I'll hand that to you. And I'm going to go in because the traditional... I don't know. They make them in all different colors right. anymore. <laughs> but I'm going to go in, and this is the Dark Daffodil. And you know what? I need the Light Daffodil, and I think it's in a project box right here. I can reach it, hun. Okay. I think I'm going to use a little bit of dark, uh, dark and light. So I'm going to go in. And I could color this dark, but I chose not to because the bottom where the heels are, because um, I felt like um, the black from my ink would kind of bleed in. Well, it wouldn't show the definition, so I chose to just do them that way. Let's go back in and see what this is like here a little bit. Do a little blending, go right back over that color and kind of blend it a little so it gives a little shadow. Back 
question. When's your uh, newsletter going out? Um, I just sent another one today. I've sent two this week so far. Woohoo! Yeah. Make sure you sign up for that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Bill. Um, to sign up, it's real easy. Just right here on Facebook, you can just click um, join my newsletter, and it goes out whenever there's news. That's right. <laughs> I don't really have a specific time. I don't do one a month. I was, I did kind of start off thinking that's what I was going to do. But things, this company has gotten so good at some of these promotions. Okay, so you can see how it kind of has a shadowed. Do you see that very well on camera, Bill? No, we're not there yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Kind of a shadowed on one side of them, like the lights come in here. So we're going to stick that right back say, there. Put that one back in the right box. I, I'm going to do that. Me. Okay, and I've got a piece of scrap Whisper White. This is just scrap. And I'm going to take one of the little floral pieces that came in the stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp that down. And I'll show you what that is. Okay. So we're going to go back in with the blends. And I'm going to take this dark color and do that since there's so much I'll do that right over here because there's of the dark daffodil because there's so much already in the project and then we'll use some granny apple green because we love granny apple green and it reminds us of Nancy Franzenberg I still kind of laugh every time I think about it when she called it G-A-G, -G, Granny Apple Green. <laughs> Gag. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to use the Dark Pool Party because it is the closest to our Coastal Cabana. Like in our card. And then for a shot of just pink brightness, I'm doing the light mag magenta madness. <gasps> Look at how bright and happy that is. Isn't that bright and happy? Oh wow. my gosh. Yeah. Can you tell I get a little excited over that? Yep. So then now it's really easy to come in and just cut this out with paper snips. However, I went ahead and did one pre-time so we don't have to watch me cut. Cool. Which always is great. Then... I'm going to take the underside, well, I think I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with the sentiment, and I'm going to ink this up in, in tuxedo black also. And I'm just going to pop that right at the top. There you go. And then, let's see, where do I want that? About there. So I'm going to put, this is the handle to the umbrella. I just think this is so pretty for the umbrella top. So let's place this about there. You can take that. And let's grab. going to pop them up. Yep, I am going to take Coastal Cabana. I'm going to do a little background stamping here, you guys. Mm. And this is just nice and easy. They have raindrops. You going to start singing? Raindrops rain are falling. Drops keep falling a little rain. louder, Bill. Whoop, 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 whoop. Jean wants to hear you clear up there in North Dakota. Yeah. No. What's the weather like up there right now? Probably cool. Well, we could use a little cool dry probably well let her answer oh <laughs> you answering for her <laughs> Beth Ann likes the ombre look. ombre she just said that just to hear you say that so you I better say it it reminds me of that one episode on friends with the <laughs> but like yeah the sprayers. But yeah when <laughs> Okay, so maybe I did it a little heavy, but it's, it's there. It's raining, but no matter the weather. Okay, I'm going to, before I put these on, I took a piece of 
uh, magenta and I'm gonna mat this right down to it and I just did a, a um, eighth inch border just a small mat magenta is kind of an in-your-face pink and some people like it some people don't I don't know how anyone couldn't like this bright pink especially popped with this yellow I just think boom it just shows right up so good love it love it so now let's get did mom make it on yep okay she says it's looking good already it is this what i like about this glitter paper bill there's no Glitter gets everywhere. They have made this so that you don't get glitter all over the place. So let's just pop this down and then I'm going to get a mini dimensional for the flowers because I liked the color that the flowers brought in. And that mini dimensional is really good. And then let's pop this down and let's figure it out what looks good. Right about there. Looks good. Isn't that cute? It is. Okay. And now we can map this right on. You guys, I have actually been having such a good time at making these. I've got a couple of really cute videos coming. And my team gets to see it first at our team meeting. So I'm going to be doing some demos that... That's another perk of being on my team. Okay, so here we go. Isn't that stinking adorable? I'm gonna stand up and make sure that you can see that glimmer. Can you see that? It's so pretty. That is, I could, you could see it. Could you? Before you stood up, yeah. Okay, well, maybe I wanted to see it in the camera. That's right. <laughs> okay, so that's our first card, are you guys are they, are they oh, liking it? it? They're loving it. A lot of hearts, a lot of hearts. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Okay, so the next one, we got quite a few steps on this one. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, so let me get out the supply box. There's... The supply box is full. The supply box is full. So we're going to use a lot of different things here. Some punches. A couple stamp sets, a little bit of blends, not much. And of course, you gotta have bling, right? Gotta have the bling. So let me put that aside. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna build this in layers, but they're not gonna be even, but I'm gonna teach you how to get symmetry out of it. <clears throat> I need to just. You need to oh, You'll you see, I'm build teaching it, Bill. Okay. Be patient. Be patient. Right. <laughs> okay. So, I just got this. I could not wait to get this. I have a couple of ideas of some backgrounds today. I'm just going to do a basic one, but this dry brush background. So, it's a beautiful big <coughs> stamp set. I'm going to use... I'm using the Basket of Blooms set, but it doesn't have any sentiment with it, so I had to pair it with another one. And... Who doesn't need birthday cards there's always a birthday coming up right so I chose itty bitty wishes and I also chose happy day out of that because it doesn't necessarily have to be birthday no. yeah birthday. I thought that gave me a little more choice on what I put on the inside it could just be a card any reason okay so dry brush itty bitty birthdays and basket of blooms and I'm just using the happy day <laughs> you're in a mood tonight okay again I went ahead and used the stitched rectangles to cut out a shape I just I really do like this set let's go right there <clears throat> I got some scrap papers here all right I started off with a uh, smoky slate card base on this one and just to change it up a bit I'm gonna go ahead and do landscape instead of portrait we did portrait last time so I need 
Yep, you're right on it. So this is the um, dry brush. Dry brush. I want to make sure I had the right name. Again, same kind of color combination, okay? It's the magenta madness, the daffodil. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this happy? I know. Yeah. So I'm going to take, everybody does this different. This is what works for me, and this is what I do. I'm going to take the ink to the stamp, and I'm going to ink it up pretty darn good. These are also my favorite um, technique. What I want to know what size the one stamp punch is. The stamp punch? Yeah, the... the this is the rectangle postage stamp. Yep. It is two by uh, one and three eighths, not quite one and a half. I hope that helps someone. I'll measure it after I cut the paper too. So I'm gonna ink it up pretty good. Try not to leave if you've noticed, sometimes when you're inking like this, you'll get a line from the edge of the stamp pad, so I kind of tap, tap lightly, so I don't get that. So this is Smoky Slate on Smoky Slate. So now I'm just going to take my image here, and I'm going to lay it down, and I found the best way, because you don't want it wonky. If you get it wonky, then the lines don't go the same. So I, what works for me is if I open up the card base, just a little tip, and then kind of guide it down where I want it to be. Now, everybody does their own thing. I always use a scrap piece of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now, the best way, I think, is when you take your another block and you just kind of rub it over the image to get that to come out. And the reason why I do this is as you can see, I don't want that excess ink that when you pull this off is on the edge to be on my fingers. And then I can take it like so. Now it's a little dark at first, but it does dry a little bit lighter. Okay, put this in the case and I will clean it afterwards. Okay, dokie, so let's put that down and aside. And let's start on, we're gonna let that dry. So let's start on our, um, our image that we're gonna do. And I want to take the Memento Black and I'm gonna do the basket image off of that set. So I'm gonna ink it up. And I want it kind of center, but kind of just slightly off to the right hand side. Okay. Ta -da. Ta -da. And then I'm gonna pull out the granny apple green. And on this image, I don't want all of the stem in the image. And if you do ink it up too much, all you have to do is take the chamois, but I'm gonna try not to ink it up too much. I'm just gonna have it hanging off of my ink pad like this and stamp it in. So I don't have this ink down below. Well, as I just smear it there, as I'm showing you, great. Okay, so I want this one to kind of lay a little flatter and maybe just over the edge of the basket. That's what I love about these photopolymer stamps. So I'm gonna well, don't rock it like I just did. Not bad. Okay, doing it the same way. Just inking it up. And this one I'll have sticking up just a little bit more. Cool. Yeah. You like that little tip? <coughs> yeah. Good. You plan on making me some cards sometime soon? I don't know. <laughs> if you do, you have to do the tip. Okay, now I'm going to go the, I need the granny apple from here. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out the granny apple green again. Now this is the light granny apple green. And I am just going to, 
this is uh, an ink that will spread. So you just need to go quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just run right over it. And we're gonna color these leaves in first. There's no blending. There's no taking time to uh, be perfect. It's, it's almost okay if it isn't perfect, I think. As I give it, I think it gives it that kind of artsy fartsy look. It gives you that natural look because nothing's cut perfect in nature. There you go. You're so good to me, you know that? That's right. I am so blessed and I know it. So, I'm going to do both sides. You tell me what's going on and if they got questions. If... No, I've been trying to catch them as they, as they go. This takes just a minute, but so light they strokes. Love the yes, I do too. Um, I have an idea with it with different colors, you guys. So I got to get on that because I haven't produced that yet. I get these ideas in my head and then I go do them. I was working with my mom on on one over the phone, and I kept sending her pictures because I'm like something's just not right, something's not right, but it still ends up the idea is good. Okay, so I've kind of colored that in. Now, Bill's going to step out because he's on call, but uh, he's going to take a call, so I'm on my own, you guys. I have two colors here. They look very similar. One is gray granite. Now, gray granite, this is like crumb cake, so I lied to you. Um, here we go. You know what? I'm going to do the light crumb cake because it's the basket. I'll do the light crumb cake. And we're just gonna go right over this basket. Now this is the memento ink that I'm coloring over so it doesn't spread as easily as the other one. But you don't wanna hang out because this has got a lot of little lines and it will start to feather. So just quick strokes again. I'm just coloring in. I'm not actually using it as blends. I don't, I'm not really a good blender. I need to probably learn a little bit. I got a friend I need to tell her. I keep trying to get her to sign up and teach so I can learn. Okay, so I've just basically colored it in. Now I've got the smoky slate. This is the light smoky slate. I'm using the brush tip side. It's just floating in air. So let's just come in here and let's just ground this a little bit. Now I'm not a colorist by any means, so that's it. That's all I did. Swish, swish, swish. Okay? Kind of cool. Isn't it cool? Turned out pretty. It did turn out pretty. Mm -hmm. Now let's get in the flower. So what's really cool is if you guys have this small bloom punch from Celebration this year, it carried over, which doesn't really happen a lot, but once in a while they carry over things. And I was glad that it did, and I was glad that they came out with a punch that matched. Got question? A question about the background stamp. Is it new? That is brand new. Yes, it is. It's in the new catalog. Okay, so I'm going to ink it up. in the magenta, on the magenta. So color on color, nice and vibrant. I did it three times, and then I'm gonna come in here with it turned upside down so I can see, and punch them out. Did Jean ever say what the temperature is? No. Okay. Jean, tell us what your temperature is up there. Then I'm going to come back in, and I've got a piece of daffodil, and I'm going to do the same thing with the daffodil. I'm going to do color on color. That's for you. Why, thank you. You're welcome and punch these out. So I punched two of the daffodil, and one of the things that we're taught is that when you do anything, like even with your rhinestones, to do odd numbers because it's pleasing to the eye, I have no idea if there's truth to that, but I do believe that there is. 
So the way that I set these up is, first of all, I'm going to crinkle them because flowers aren't necessarily flat, so I like to crinkle them up. Yep. By the way, Nancy, your iris are beautiful. They bloomed and were beautiful. All right, so I'm going to use my glue dots here. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll put five of these on. together. Okay. So let's just kind of start and I'll have where this is where the Bob Ross in you comes in. There'll be a happy little flower that lives there and then we'll put one here. Let's put another pink one maybe kind of under it and up higher and then we'll go back with Another one. Oh, look at how bright this is. Maybe this one lives over here. Isn't that pretty? It is. It's very pretty. So you can't have flowers without a little bling, right? That's right. Gotta have them centers. Let's do. No. Let's just do the clear. in the center here. That's nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's bright with that granny apple green and and one more. There we go. Okay, is that gorgeous? It and it's is. it really looks like it's something, but I'm not doing a whole lot. So this punch has a whole stamp set that comes with it, and off the top of my head, I cannot think of what the name of it is. Is Joy on? No. Is Kristen on? Someone Kristen's will know. <laughs> but I have a piece of pool party, and I'm just going to put it in and punch out the stamp. So this is a brand new punch, too. Did I call it a stamp? You did call it a stamp. Well, I but meant it's punch. It's a stamp set. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I meant so just mm -hmm. for yeah, I was right. One and three eighths by two. Yep. That's the measurements on it. One and three eighths by two. Okay. Let's bring this back in. All right, you guys. So I want to do an kind of an offset um combination that is even. Uh, I don't know how to explain this other than to just show you. So I'm going to use this instead of stamping anything on it or having a sentiment with it. I'm just going to use it as a layer, as a full layer, but it's only going to be partially on here. So I'm going to have it be offset on this, but I'm going to keep this edge and this edge is, you know, about as visually even as I can. So we're going to put a little bit of glue down in this corner to start. That was a lot of bit of glue, but... Uh, it ain't gonna move. Yeah, it ain't gonna move, that's for sure. Once it dries. And I'm gonna just kinda, I'm gonna hold this up a minute just so I can see. So I've got this width about the same. And I've got a little bit of visual interest on the end as well as my stitched. Now when you come and bring this onto your um, uh, card base, I am, I'm going to keep this edge and this edge as close to um, the same as possible. So what I'm doing here is I'm causing this to be offset. I've kind of moved it offset and I've got this, but it has some visual interest in it and it's still pleasing for those who like that centering. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. It's not taking away from my um, uh, my uh, focal point, but it's adding visual interest. So I've got the odd numbers, the offset, yet it's centered in the middle of this 
This is where the green glue comes so handy. So I've got it fairly even border. Okay, yay. Now, I have just a scrap here, and of course, this is my sentiment happy day, and this is my Memento Black ink again that I love so much, and I'm just going to line this up and hopefully day now you guys know I love this tailored tag punch and I just swear by it because I as long as you make sure that you're kind of getting even on the sides when you're coming down this does very pretty even so you kind of look that you have it about the same amount on each side and this goes to just over two inches I want to say it's like two and a quarter, maybe two and a half inches that you can um, get that from. I'm going to use my little stamp and trimmer here because I'm going to trim this off a little bit. Let's go to, I'm going to take that and I think I'm going to trim this down just a hair more with that punch because I want that a little bit closer. There we go. Now, I want to hook this up at the top. And I'm going to raise it. I feel like I want just a smidge more off of there. I'm going to raise it up. With that little bent edge, I'm not going to glue that down because it makes it more bannerish, right? That's a word too if Madison's on here making fun of me again. And so this card is even and uneven. So now I'm gonna have this jetting over but covering the top here so that I now have another element that's kind of uneven and let me make sure I got that straight because I don't think I do it's hard doing it this on camera right now let's take a little piece of our linen thread and make a little bit bow Like so. And another glue dot to polish this off. And I'm going to roll it with my thumbnail. Sorry, Bill had to step out again so I can't see what comments are right at the moment. And I'm going to stick that down there. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And then I'm going to trim these off. Okay, I'm going to stand up a minute because what do you think? Can I get some hearts on this and loves? Do you like it? You know, you can kind of push these around. The color combination, I think, is gorgeous. This little bit of color adds just it so that it's, it's so bright here. It adds just a little off to the side. That background stamping, so beautiful. I think and when you put both of them together they follow very similar color patterns so I finished this bill he's you coming did. back in yeah oh, I missed you so I don't another, know what they were saying oh, what do you think I like them you like it they stay beautiful they make the colors colors make the cards pop now I want to show you guys something so my original card design was not I wasn't gonna do these colors I was doing colors and the reason I'm showing you this this is just as beautiful but this has definitely more of a fall feel to it instead of this bright summer feel so this can be done this is our new just Jade this can be done in many color variations it just depends on what you like um, or the season. This has also got the champagne uh, gems in the middle, but 
I like the clear ones. It's on also got a different background. You like the clear oh, wow. ones? Yeah. I like them both. I just yeah. like I them. I like that background. You, which one? The one you did tonight. Uh, the Okay, the brushed. The, the dry brush one. Yeah. And this one is our, um, this one's a new one too. This is stacked stone or something like that. I just turned it on its side for the effect. Oh, wow. But, I mean, yeah, this could be done in many different color combinations. So, okay, you guys. So, should we get ready for a drawing? We should do a couple drawings. Yeah. So, how you get in my drawings if you're new. You gotta share them. You gotta share. To your and, Facebook page. Yes, to your Facebook page or a crafting group. And um, that's every, I, I do this every, well, every week. Every for week. so I do it for last week so you're if you share this week you'll get in on next week's drawing that's right so okay are you ready Bill and you guys did some good sharing last week so I do appreciate that thank yeah, you no kidding okay you ready uh, first one is Beverly Nichols Ooh, Beverly so let me oh I know who this is <laughs> I was like, do I know that name? Yes, I know that name, Bev. Bev. She, yeah, okay. she goes by Bev. Okay. Yes. Okay, Bev. So, um, can you, if are you still on here, Bev? Well, I don't know. There's, there's 90 some people on there. So, do you want the cards or do you want the paper pack? This is the very last that I have of the okay, embossed know. vellum in the different colors. From celebration, I'm gonna let her have a choice. We'll wait and see. Yeah. Let's let's grab another one. Do here. another one here. I can always call her if I need to. Okay. Ooh, your new girl, Emily. Oh, Emily. Okay. So what do we got for Emily, Bill? Uh, today we're giving Emily two yards of old olive. Oh, two yards of old olive ribbon, Emily. So this is awesome. So I have your. Emily Runyon. I think that's how you say it, Runyon. Yeah. And Beverly, get back to me. I'm going to give you a choice on these cards or if you want to have the paper. So, all right, you guys. I so appreciate you coming and, and watching me each week and sharing my video and helping promote me. If you want in on those um, uh, $50 purchases for your five dollar coupon get in it on this month and remember that paper pumpkin is until the 10th, 10th to sign up on right Friday. and um i'm gonna throw out one more little bonus if you order 75 dollars by sunday noon. sunday noon oh he's given an extra day i usually say saturday noon it's a holiday Oh, it is a holiday. If you uh, order through my online store, $75, and you use this host code, I am going to send out a package of these square vellum doilies. I love these things. These go really pretty with the peony set, but I've seen people doing lots of crazy fun things with these. So they're, they're kind of already cut for you in vellum. It's very beautiful. So... All right, anything no. from Bev yet? Nope, nothing. Okay, well, I'll get in touch with her. So you guys have a great evening, and I will see you next week. Bye. Oh, look for my videos this week. I yep. got a good one coming out. Got All right. Got good ones, okay. Take care. Bye-bye.